Welcome to the biggest year in your cryptocurrency career. You've made it to 2024. Happy New Year to you guys. This is where it all gets really exciting. But at first, it's going to seem even crazier. What we're looking at today is a forecast for BTC. And of course, this is going to crossover into our cryptocurrency portfolios as well. We want to look 12 months out from Bitcoin's price from now into the future and also put some of the narratives to bed that are hyping up the market right now. It's something that happens in every single cycle, yet it always seems unprecedented at the time. It isn't new. We want to look at the data and the facts in today's video. So don't go anywhere. This is your home of macro cycle analysis, studying the past to forecast the future. Let's crush 2024 with 400,000 subscribers. You guys have come to the party. We did 7,000 last month. Let's go for 400,000 in 2024. Guys, let's kick it off with the cryptocurrency cycle where we currently sit and then start to forecast our six and 12 months in advance for BTC. Now we are in year two, Bitcoin into altcoins. We're looking at a lot of investors starting to shift from Bitcoin into altcoins, but it doesn't happen all at once. And of course, we'll probably see some sort of corrections that wouldn't be too far out of the question because that's what happens every single time. What we're looking at now is this green year here, just like the previous years. It basically leads into that third year. So going back to the cycle of 2015, 2016, year two was a fantastic year to go from BTC into alts. It doesn't mean get rid of all the Bitcoin. It doesn't mean get rid of all of your USD just for alts. But of course, you want to remain cautious here as the cycle starts to kick up in the second half of the year. And we'll see that with the percentage returns on Bitcoin over the next six to 12 months going back 10 years in history. And of course, this is your home of macro cycle analysis, which is why we're just looking at the data in a macro sense. Now, the thing that is new or hyped up right now at the beginning of 2024, and of course it was in 2023, is the ETF approval. We're starting to see a few, I would say, rumors that it's going to be approved sooner than we thought. The dates previously were around the 8th to the 10th of January. But now we're starting to see rumors of it being approved on January 3rd, maybe even January 2nd, like you can see down here in this particular article. But remember, these are just sources. And all you see with these sources are basically uh, engagement farming types of tweets just to get likes, retweets, comments, whatever it is. The sources are typically bogus or at least half garbage. You can see here, source, it's all garbage. Now I'm bringing this up in a macro video because it happens every single cycle. Don't get caught out trying to hope and pray that this time is different and that there are unprecedented things happening now because you hadn't seen the fundamental thing happen last time. And this fundamental thing that's happening now is of course the ETF announcements. And yes, going forward, 12 months, two years, 10 years, 20 years, it could be really big for Bitcoin and cryptos. It could be the thing that takes Bitcoin to 500,000 or 250,000 or a million dollar Bitcoin, but it's not going to happen in this next week. I think most of you can understand that, that even though we've got the ETF announcement, this is just not going to shoot Bitcoin up to a hundred grand overnight. It's potentially a buy the rumor, sell the news event. So be mindful of that. Now I've got here in terms of the short term, a couple of rules to watch out for. Rule one, watch the horizontal price levels, watch these levels in play and watch on the shorter term timeframes where the previous top was, which was $45,000. Number two, watch the close. If the market tests these levels and then begins to close underneath the previous tops, that is a sign of weakness. It doesn't mean the market will collapse that same day or the following day, although it could. It just means it's a sign of weakness and weakness takes time to build up as you may have already experienced. So keep those two in your back pocket when you're trading or when you're watching the markets over the next couple of days with this big news from the sources as they always are in cryptocurrency. To me, I just see it as absolute garbage when it comes out like that. But 
we just go back to the charts and follow the facts and the data from the charts. So that's the big first thing that I wanted to cover in today's video because of how hyped up it is right now. And when we look back on year twos of the cycle, you can see in each of these occasions, the market has gone up and it's corrected. It's gone up and it's had some corrections and it's pretty much stayed within a specific price range for the majority of the year. Then it can start to go a little bit ballistic. So you can see year two going back to 2016, as we just looked at 2020, the market was in a price range, broke out, came back, tested the price range. This was the halving and you obviously had the pre-pump and then it got back into the zone again and a new stair stepping price, so a, st a stepping stone. And then it started to go crazy where you pretty much did not get any chance to breathe. The market was just going absolutely bonkers. Previous cycle to that, no, no real altcoins out at that time there going back to 2012, but we did have a halving in November of 2012. We had an election in 2012 and we had an, we've got an election coming up this year as well. And after those elections, like we've covered already on the channel, the markets can go absolutely ballistic. But again, in year two, you had a bit of Litecoin, Doge was coming about. There were some other uh, coins which we don't know of anymore. Most people don't know of. But you can see the market held its ground again, started to consolidate, broke out again, started to consolidate, and then it went on its wild run, which looks pretty similar to what happened in 2016, 2017. And I would say that's pretty much uh, where we currently sit in today's market. Something similar, not exactly the same, but something similar as those previous years, which is why I'm looking at those years as a bit of a roadmap moving forward. Speaking of roadmaps, we can look back to previous videos to see how the markets had performed over that period. This one is going back just over 12 months at the lows. Remember that time there, this is when Bitcoin was bottoming. So we're starting to build upon the data for a potential bullish or at least slightly bullish year into 2023 for Bitcoin. This was one month after the FTX collapse, a time when the masses were calling for 10K, 8K, 3K Bitcoin. You never know what's going to happen in that next 12 months, but all we're trying to do is put the probabilities on our side to position ourselves the best way possible. So that's 12 months ago. A month ago, we looked at what we could expect going forward for six and 12 months from the beginning of December. And a lot of things look positive as we're looking into that uh, year two timeframe for the cryptocurrency cycle. Typically, it's a pretty good time, but there are still some hurdles along the way. So this now is leading me to the data that we'll have a look at for the year ahead, because we also need to understand what's going on in the stock markets as well, because essentially that is where the masses of the money comes from. If the stock markets aren't going up or at least holding their ground at higher prices and not breaking down into a bear market like they were in 2022, then we could potentially expect better times ahead for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. I don't think we're at the stage yet to have stock markets falling, real estate falling and Bitcoin and cryptos going up. We're not at that stage in the journey of cryptocurrencies yet and maybe we never see it. Who knows? It's a long way away. The reason I say that is because there is a lot of money in the other markets and they're just looking for other games to play at the same time when other markets are also going up. So basically it's a risk on space. If they turn into risk off, then you'd expect the rest of this riskier crap like Bitcoin and cryptos. And I say crap because at the end of the day, it's just speculation. Don't get tied to it. Don't worry about your cryptocurrencies and your online communities. Essentially, when risk off is on the table, most things are going to go down at that time and cash, USD is the king. So now we have an understanding of the macro landscape, looking at the stock markets around the world. We now come back to January and looking for the January trifecta. We checked this out last year. That's why I brought up the videos going back to December, which you can find on the channel, looking at these trifectas, which are really interesting. You get the Santa Claus rally, then looking at the first five trading days of January, and then looking at how January closes. So the, basically the January barometer here. Now, 2022 into 2023 had all positive results. There's the trifecta. Three green readings led to a massive positive year change here. So basically 24% up for the year. Looking at the data, so how many times once you see the trifecta, how many times is it going to be a positive year? Now, it could be anything from 
2% positive, and they're even including this as being a negative, 0 0.003, basically a flat year as being a negative. So if you cross that one out, then you're still looking better than 90%, but leaving it in there, you're looking at a 90% hit rate if we get this January trifecta. We'll continue to update this on the channel, so don't go anywhere, hit that like and subscribe button, get us to 400,000 for this cycle, Let's continue on with some more of the data for this particular year coming up, which is our election year. So the election year shows us some pretty significant results as well. You can see roughly 89% return when the second year in the cycle was a negative year. So that's 2022. So they're your midterm election year. 2022 was a negative year. Typically what happens from that point, the election year is green. One time it was red and that was 1932 uh, during the depression, the Great Depression. I know people still want to compare us to the Great Depression from what we're seeing now, but I think we are a long way from a Great Depression in today's environment. So if you wanted to take that one out, well then it would be 100%. Let's keep it in, call it 89%. We're going to see some green to the upside for this particular year. 2024 with an average return of roughly 15% on the stock market. So less than 2023, but nonetheless, it's still a positive return. So now that brings us to Bitcoin and we're looking at six month returns from this current point and 12 months returns. This is something that I do on the channel every single month. Here we are looking at each of these periods, 12 months going from the open of January to the close of December. And for the six months, we're going from the open of January to the close of June, that full six month period. What do these numbers look like? Here are the results for the six months, January into July, looking back over the entire history of Bitcoin. Now I'm just focusing on the wins versus the losses rather than the percentages, because hopefully all of us by now can understand Bitcoin is very unlikely to do 5,000% or 600% or anything crazy like that in six months, regardless of the unprecedented narratives of this time, which is why I brought up the shorter term stuff, looking at the ETF at the beginning of this video, because it still baffles some, especially if they're new, which is fair enough, coming into the markets thinking that, well, this event has never happened. Therefore, it is possible that Bitcoin goes to 250K or, th or 500K or whatever the stupid number is. The same sort of narratives come every single cycle. Once you can see that, you start to realize that it doesn't matter what this next narrative is, it's not going to pump Bitcoin to some ridiculous price target that the Moon Boy crypto channel talks about every single uh, video. So let's just stick to the facts and the data from the uh, charts. Now we're looking at 14 results here. Four of the results were red, 10 of them were green. So basically six months from now, Bitcoin will be green 71% of the time. So three out of 10 times, it wasn't green. But we could improve those results if we stayed out of the market during the year four. So basically these bear years here, you can see here where I've got year four and year four and again, year four, roughly around here. So if we took those three out and there was still one red year in there, that happened in year one, which was last year. And we had a pretty fantastic year one of the, of the cycle. So if we took those three out, we would have 10 wins out of 11 results. It's improving, but we don't want to curve fit the data too much. So let's stick with what we have here. 10 out of 14. You guys should understand where those bear market years are now. So you can improve your accuracy for your own trading uh, and investing portfolios. So now comes the big one. Let's uncover what the next 12 months could look like for BTC. We have 14 results. We have 11 wins and three losses, giving us roughly 79%. So basically eight out of 10 times we win. Now, if we took it out the bear market years and start to curve fit this data a little bit more, or you could look at it as improving the results for ourselves and our own portfolios, because essentially we don't wanna be investing in those bear market years. Well, we take those three out and then we get a 100% hit rate. The next 12 months for BTC, are probably going to be green. Well, if we took those three out, it's gonna be a 100% hit. 
And like I covered just earlier, when we look at the rest of the markets, uh, which we obviously will go into far more detail on the channel as well as we uncover the January trifecta going over the first five trading days, uh, the end of January, the election year as well, looking at more data from there, looking at the data for the Dow Jones, the S&P 500. Then we start to really sway this result in our favor, looking at how positive the market could be. Now, let's take a look at the year twos in terms of the percentages in this case, just to have a little bit of fun here with the hopium and our numbers acting like complete nerds. Well, we've got three year twos with uh, percentages here of 187, 126 and 300. Now, the count of three, we can get an average look at those numbers being roughly 200%. A 200% increase from the current price of roughly $44,000, $45,000 is going to take us to about $135,000 at the end of 2024. Do you think that is possible? The pinned comment down below, let me know. Do you think Bitcoin could hit $135,000 at the end of this year to go along with the averages that have happened over the last three years? times uh, every year two in the cycle. Personally, I think not. I don't think we'll reach 135,000 by the end of 2024. Stranger things have happened and I wouldn't be too upset if it did happen. Top of the uh, comments down below, the pin comment, let me know your thoughts. If you're a nerd about numbers like me, then we're going to get even more excited about this data as the year progresses. We get to review what happened over the previous six and 12 month periods from the previous videos that we had covered uh, looking at those particular timeframes. So I'm very excited to see how that's worked out and see if we can keep hitting a few more home runs from uh, the forward looking data on BTC and then overlaying that with the cycles as well, the real estate cycle and of course uh, the other cycles that we look at with the stock markets and election years, commodity cycles, etc. That's a fantastic segue to the video coming up this week. We're looking at the top 13 forecasts for 2024, specifically around the real estate cycle, what's going on in the markets uh, for the stock markets, and of course, Bitcoin and cryptos. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Let's crush 400,000 by the end of 2024, leading into this major Bitcoin and cryptocurrency bull market. And of course, Twitter or X. Let's see if we can crush 100,000 uh, by the end of January. Thanks again, guys, for your support. I'll be back here again for the next video real soon. Don't go anywhere. Things are going to get hot and I'll see you then. Till then, take care and peace out.